Hello world, I'm Alcarp, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Around the World. So here we are burning, what's this place, Cagliari here from the Byzantine Empire. We are at the war against the Saxons and against a host, because they are actually Denmark's wars and we are allied to Denmark at this point. Denmark's growing huge! We also have the problem of a dangerous faction here. This count here is my rival for some unknown reason. And wants independence. But as soon as I get enough money to make the Duchy of Ulster, I'll just create it and bury him beneath it, so it doesn't matter. I just need to siege this, finish this siege, bring the money back to home and do that. Where's my siege leader? Marlidi? Come back here. And... It's burned. How much money do we actually have? Oh, it's full! Right. So let's go to the boats. Let's bring the boats... Here, actually. Shipbuilder has been built in Midaros tribe. Excellent. We shall build hmm, a war camp here, so we need more troops. We got 260 gold, 260 prestige, and yeah, we got this levy inside levy size modifier and tax income modifier to Nidaros. Right now, we have enough money to create these titles, so we are going to create the Duchy of Alsta. Jarldom of Strangfjorda. Okay, and I'm holding this place right, so I need to give this to someone else. Let's see. How? What's your opinion of me? Oh, you are holding these both right. Well, then we need to give Strangfjord to someone else. Let's search the realm for adult men, who are actually my dynasty. There are none. Okay, so let's give it to Cole here. I have no idea who this guy is, but he's gonna get Strangfjorda. Right, and then this guy is going to get the Duchy. Or Jarldom. Strang... Wait, wait, how many Jarldoms am I holding actually at this moment? Yardom of Connacht, Yardom of Island, Yardom of Strangford. Yeah, yeah, we're, so we need to give it away. Right, is at a hundred opinion, and the faction disappeared because the guy who was creeping the faction it was this guy, and he's no longer my direct vassal, so he can't have that faction anymore. Right, guys, you get back on the boats. We got wars to help with we are... why aren't you already winning this war who's got so many Nidaros got loads of troops again Nidaros what no event spawn 3000 okay 6000 maximum yikes well, who am I actually at war with at this moment I am at war with France as well. Why? You are allied to France. Okay, so basically... Let's just... Yeah, let's go... <laughs> let's go burn France. Actually, let's look at the government's map mode here, and then let's press... Control and left click. There's a theocracy here, there's some theocracies there. The theocracies are nice because they mean that there's a bishopric as the main hold. Now look at this, bishopric, town, bishopric. This would be so easy to burn. Let's go burn. The nice thing about uh, being Norse is of course that you can move on rivers with boats. It's excellent. So here we are, some things are happening. The King of Denmark wants my niece to marry heir to the Kingdom of Denmark. Yeah, I'm fine with that. 
Someone needs to be imprisoned. Gandalf! Gandalf, what you doing? Fabricate a claim on the Yaldam of Knacht. I just gave you a chiefdom, didn't I? Grand A County desires the Yaldam of Knacht wants a seat on the council. Well, Gandalf, you actually get to be on the council, because... No, maybe you don't, because Sumarlidi also wants to be on a council, most likely. Hmm. Well... Just end the plot. End that plot. Yeah, Rhymes was the place where we wanted to go, so let's go there. He stopped skimming. We're gonna burn this place to the ground. So Lear of Rogaland used a favor on Ophag of Kildare to force them to join all of their factions. Jarl Sumal really is no longer marshal for King Egil. Why aren't you no... What? What? King Sumar Lady of Nidaros. Dude! What the heck just happened? Petty Kingdom of Nidaros. So you subjugated this guy, but you were my vassals. How the heck did you become independent? Well, for vassalization, you will become my vassal, right? Not my de jure liege. God. Damn it! I probably if if I do the Kingdom of Norway, he will vassalize for me. That's very probably what would happen. But then if I create the Kingdom of Norway, and when I die, the Kingdom of Norway and Kingdom of Ireland are gonna be split. I don't want that to happen. Hmm. Dude, can we war you? Well, no, not of course, because we have. Raised to levies. I will come and dis conquer you, Summer Lady. You should not have done that. Right, but then we need a marshal, and well, Gandalf gets to be our marshal now, then. And he gets to train troops in Nidaros. We need a new commander. Okay, you get to be a commander. Well, let's finish the siege here. Oh, someone's attacking here. Which army? That... is it that army? 16th of August. How long will it take us to get out of here? 13th of August. Oh, do I have a... Oh heck, do I have any organizers in my realm? Or... no. Oh heck. Let's put me in the center. And... Oh, you are an architect. Oh, that's siege speed, right. That's good, actually. Okay, you get to be on that side. Let's see what happens. We're most likely going to lose this battle here. No, we already routed this flank and... Yeah, we won! So we don't need to go anywhere. That probably didn't give us any war score. Why not? They are... Part of this war, right? Huh. Well, let's just keep burning this brick down. Come on, guys, you can't win. We're too good. We're just too damn good. Oh, damn, now they might be winning. Oh, heck, they're winning. Run away, run away! Oh, no, more dangerous factions. Lower. Independence. Who wants to be independent? Ostlande. Oh man, you don't get to be independent. And what about who wants to? Who are you? Chief of Rogaland. Right, let's see. You are also supporting that. Let's give you some money. And let's give you an honorary title of Headman. No, that makes you only to 79. Damn it. I can give you another. Hmm. Yeah, this is bad, we lost way too many troops here, and that's why those are an issue. Oh, casualty is 1,000! Damn it. Okay. What? The narrow-minded clown Egil, your child of a mangid dog. This is a formal declaration of war. Who are you? Suleimanid. Hispania. Right! Ah, uh, that's not good. That's not good. What am I gonna lose in this war? Surrender. 
100 party, 50 prestige. Oh, I don't mind. You can just... You can take that. I'll come back for some other place soon. Or who? Maybe I should... Can I... Okay. <sighs> right! You guys get back on the boats. Let's get those boats back to Ireland. After giving my advice in delicate matters, the courtier asked me to accept a small gift of gold as thanks for my help. I accept the gift reluctantly. Wasn't my advice worth more than a couple of pennies? So I can get charitable, which gives me more diplomacy, or I can greedy, which gives me more money. So let's be charitable. Or try to be. And we aren't. Got a little bit of gold. Disband. Disband. We need some more technology. Uh, it seems to be cultural, so let's check the law situation. Do we need anything for anything? We need legalism 5 for that. We need tolerance. We need legalism. Right, so let's take... Let's take, let's just take majesty, because it gives more monthly prestige. Well, I need a new commander. Okay. Actually, let's search the world for men who are adults, who are not rulers, who are within diplomatic range, and we'll join my court and see if we have any organizers. No, we don't. What about siege guys? There's one siege guy. What about lightfoot troops? Nope. Okay, let's just put... You guys are just bad. I'm gonna... Just invite some more martial guys into my court and make those some commanders. Yeah, like all of these guys. Yeah, I'll invite all of these guys to my court. So these guys came to my court. And one of my concubines is planning on killing my nephew. Stop that. And right, oh yeah, I need to make one of those new guys a commander. The Dure, you get to be commander. Raise tribal army. Oh, hmm. I could raise two tribal armies. That's 5,000 troops. This guy has a total of 11,000 troops. And I'm the only war he's having. That's not good. What I need to do actually now, I think, because I lost a thousand men, I just. Whoa! I got a pretty big levy. Yeah, I just need to wait a little bit for my levy to enforce. Ah, more technology! Man, Bercy, you are excellent! What do you want? A message about offer to join war has been received from Sumar Lady Yutra. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can join my... Well, actually, let's just... Let's call our allies into the war as well. All of our vassals and the King of Denmark. <laughs> Maybe they'll just start <laughs> throwing their troops down there. I don't need the bother. Yeah, he will join. He will join. What happened? War camp has been built in Nidaros. Let's build more stuff. More war camps. My wife's pregnant. My steward Tolir is pleased to report that Connacht has been settled with many good Norse families. The locals, though initially resistant, have started to adopt our language and customs. Tolir is always reliable. Nice! So that means that if we look at the culture map mode, we already we got one Norse. There's one spot of Norse here in Ireland. That's excellent. So that means that you get to go to some other place to settle the tribe. When I look at this Hispania ruler, also I I why is it called Hispania and not Suleimanid? Usually these guys are called whatever is their dynasty name. But anyways, he's got 11,000 troops. I can have up to 5,000 troops. My vassals... Uh, can't really see the total number of my vassal strength. And then I have these allies, and then I could have a total of 5,000 troops from prestige. I could probably win this war against Hispania. If I just get the troops there, that's the problem, because I'd have to 
war with those 5,000 troops. But then again, I am at war with these guys as well. So I could just take those guys, come here, win these wars, come all the way here. Should I try? Hmm. Actually, let's let's just declare war on this guy here on the Canaries and conquer conquer him. <laughs> that will make things easier. Uh raise my levy, raise my boats, put the guys on the boats, bring the boats to Connacht, bring all the Irish troops to Connacht, combine the armies, combine the boats, everyone on the boats, bring the boats to the Canaries. Oh, you guys, go down, go down. Yeah, they got 3,000 troops there already. It's... Oh, and they're bringing 6,000 more. Yeah, let's just conquer Canaries and not, not worry about that war. Siege of Massad tribe. Yep, lost that one. Which means... War scores only minus 3. Would have expected a lot more. You guys, beat those guys. Yes, then let's put Marshall. No, because I lost... I lost my siege commander because he suddenly decided to become independent. King Agil of Ireland has inherited the Jarldom of Strangfjord, a chieftain of Oriel from Jarl Prodi of Strangfjord. Oh. Okay. Let's see. It means I have an extra Jarl. Right, I need to get rid of that, so watch the situation here. All of you guys get only one... Only one county. Cole, I'll give this to you. Why are you fabricating a claim? I'm just gi I'm giving it to you, don't try to fabricate a claim. I'll also include the county. Ah, you should be happy. Yes, you are. Open council decisions. We need an advisor, so okay, you get to be an advisor. We can imprison someone, you, but yeah, you <laughs> you already have that, so we don't need to do that. And yeah, we're going to win this war quite easily, I think, unless they are <laughs> come here and try to destroy my army. This war we're going to lose, this holy war here most likely and we don't really even care about these other wars looks like he's winning the host war here and he's really having trouble fighting with Saxony maybe I should go help him well we'll see next time what I'm gonna do because this is being enough for this episode I'm Uncle Cop this is being Crusader Kings 2 around the world goodbye world thanks for watching see you next time